Welcome back to Panel Data Analysis. This video shows how to report the result from Stata to Web. In the last video, I showed how we can uh, copy paste directly to Web or through Excel to Web. Today, I will show how to report using the command call as drop. You need to install this if you don't have that in Stata. It's a user risk written command. Before we can use any user written command to report our result directly to web, we will need to show where we want the data to be, the result to be stored. So you have to change your working directory in Stata. So I change my working directory. Go to file change working directory I choose where I want it I want to save it at where I have been doing the panel data analysis so I have found the folder then I say okay so that any command I run the results will be stored in this folder so let's start with uh, descriptive statistics using the as doc command for anything you want to do with asdoc, you will have to start with asdoc before the command. And asdoc is used for descriptive statistics, correlation matrix, regression, and other, and other um, output you may want. But today we will look into how we will deal we will report simple descriptive correlation matrix and uh, regression output. So in the last video, we showed how to copy paste the summary statistics. Today, we will use a command. And so you start with asdoc, and then you can save it uh, with a name, whichever name you want, but I just want summary statistics. You can save it in any way, descriptives or whatever. If you don't give this option, then the default name will be my file. Okay, but now I want to save it as summary statistics. Okay, so I run this command. I should have this stored directly in my folder. So if I click here, it will open. Or if I, if I go to the folder, I can find the summary stars. Now open. Yes, so you will see that I have it um, nicely uh, summarized all the descriptives the way it's supposed to be formatted. This is really cool compared to the one we have to copy paste. This is really cool. Okay, so you can format this further like putting the number of decimal places to be the same or the way you want to format it further. And you can include uh, some other descriptives you want to see like the mean but today we show how to report so I go back to see how I can also do the correlation matrix so again you just start with as doc then I use pairwise correlation then the same variables and I'll, I'll have the name of it here I say star for those who don't know how to report the um, the level of significance, you start with star, then I want the 5% level of significance. Okay, so if I run this one, then I should have the correlation matrix table reported. So I run. Then I can go to this one and I have correlation matrix. Very easy. Nice. So here you can change to landscape in order to see every part of the output. So it says pairwise correlations. Nicely reported. So what about regression output? Okay. So let's look at a simple pool OLS and also panel data analysis 
So for OLS, we say rec, meaning regression, and then before that, you have the as doc. So as doc, and then with the name table one. So this is how it will be table one. So I click on table one. I click on this one and I have the result. So again, we have the web file being table one. Then I check to see table one and there it is. So here I have the full regression result. Assuming I want to see the same, everything about the regression, then I have them reported. So here they have indicated the level of significance here. And then the other parameters, other statistics to be uh, to see that here. Okay, then we can also run the um, the uh, panel data random effect model. And if we show the same name of the document, it will be added. So the same document can contain different outputs. So in this case, I want to add this output second output to the first one so i i save it the same i say that save table one so they will add this to table one if you do that you must close table one before they can edit it right so i close table one then i run this command as doc then i open table one again to be sure let me see whether it's run so I can see random effects. So it's nicely run. Okay, so I run I open table one. So I see the full OLS first, and the second one is the panel data analysis. So here I can see the within R square, overall R square, and all other parameters that needs to be shown. So the first one is the full OLS, so you can report. A number of tables in the same file if you keep the same name okay so let's see what about if you have we want to report the way it's supposed to be shown for publication style format if you are to do that uh, then we need a different specification so we will show that in the, in the next step so again, we start with full OLS and the full OLS and we here, this time we save it as, as doc table and what makes it different is nest. If we add nest replace, meaning that we will have only, nest means that we have only one how it's supposed to be reported for publication purposes. Only we mean we, we need some uh, parameters, not all of it. So I run this one and see how the results will be. So I click, then I come here. I should find as doc table. Here it is. So I click on as doc table. So you see, this is how publication uh, tables look like. So we have model one. So you can write here OLS, or yes, you can put model one as OLS here. And then we have the R square and everything. And it says the standard errors are in parentheses. So here, these are the standard errors. Very nice. This is how you will see in many research papers. Okay, so let's also see how to report the remaining uh, models. For example, we run random effects model. Uh, fixed effects until Hosmer and Taylor. So I can then close the table. Yes, it's already closed. So I run the remaining ones, and uh, the next step is to say append. Instead of replace, you say append, meaning that it will be adding to model one, model two, model three. So this is model two. So if you have many models to run, it will be adding them. And so let's run the remaining one and see. So I run the remaining models. Ensure that it's finished running, it's still running, so I have to wait. 
now it's been run it so if i click here it will take me to the full model but i can just copy it from here again so here you see ols random effects fixed effects and then Hosman and Taylor. So here you see how um, all the parameters um, directly reported. This is very nice. In the next video, we will show how to use the second command uh, called array 2 to report the regression results. Thanks for watching.